this lesson, we will enumerate safety measures to avoid the harmful effects of the sun's heat and light. Good day, kids! Welcome to our science class! Did you know that the sun is the main source of energy on Earth? All living things on Earth depend on heat and light from the sun. Although the sun has many good effects to us, one should not expose himself or herself to the sun too much because too much exposure to sun's heat and light can cause harmful effects to us. What are the harmful effects of the sun's heat and light? Let's have an activity. Identify what harmful effect of the sun's heat and light is being described in each picture. What do you see in this picture? The skin gets red and painful due to overexposure to sunlight. Sunburn. Correct! Look at this. Too much perspiration can make you lose much water caused by overexposure to sun. Dehydration! You're right! <laughs> it is caused by directly looking at the sun. Temporary blindness! Amazing! And last, heat illness that results in a body temperature greater than 40 degrees Celsius. Heat stroke. You got it! Can we avoid these harmful effects of the sun's heat and light? Yes, through safety measures. Safety measures are things to do to avoid harmful effects. Kids, let us know what are the safety measures to avoid the harmful effects of the sun's heat and light. Look at these pictures. What are they doing? They're drinking. Yes. Drink plenty of water. So you need to drink 8 or more glasses of water a day to avoid dehydration and heat stroke. How do they protect themselves from sunlight? They are wearing sunglasses. Correct. Use sunglasses when you stay under the sun. Make sure to always bring it so it won't be glaring. Look at this. How do they protect themselves from sun's heat? By using a hat and an umbrella. That's right. Use a hat, an umbrella, or any other cover for the head to protect you from the sun's heat. Prolonged exposure to sun's heat can cause headache or even nosebleed. How do these farmers protect themselves from sun's rays? The farmers are wearing long sleeve clothes. Very good. Wear long sleeve clothes when working under the sun. This is to prevent sunburn. What activity do you see in these pictures? Swimming! I love swimming too! You're right! But what should you do before going to the water? Before swimming, apply sunblock lotion on your skin. This is to avoid sunburn. Another one? Avoid exposure to sun from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Harmful ultraviolet rays that cause sunburn are stronger during this time. Kids, why do you need to follow the safety measures? To avoid the harmful effects of the sun's heat and light. Very smart! Will you enumerate the safety measures to avoid the harmful effects of the sun's heat and light? The safety measures to avoid the harmful effects of the sun's heat and light are Drink plenty of water Use sunglasses when stay under the sun Use a hat, an umbrella, or any other cover for the head to protect from the sun's heat. Wear long sleeve clothes when working under the sun. Before swimming, apply sunblock lotion to avoid sunburn. Avoid exposure to sun from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Good job, kids! Kids, do you have questions about our lesson? If none, let's have a short quiz. 
Answer the following questions by choosing the correct picture. Kids, are you ready? Yes, we are. Let's begin. How to avoid dehydration due to too much perspiration on sunny days? You're smart! The sun is shining so bright. Which picture shows a safety measure to protect the eyes from the glares of the sun? Excellent! You are going to the beach. What will you apply on your skin to avoid sunburn? Great! Which harmful effect of the sun's heat and light can also be avoided through drinking plenty of water? Fantastic! Which shows a safety measure to avoid the harmful effects of the sun's heat and light? Amazing! Kids, be obedient! Always follow safety measures. Listen to the reminders of your parents. Bye, kids!